All right. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing, bro? How you doing? How you feeling? My bad. We were having some technical difficulties earlier. So, so let me get this right, man. Is this Eli, man? Is that how you pronounce your name, bro? Yes, sir. Eli, man. Some say Ellie, man. Eli, man. You know, I don't oh, know okay, say okay. the name, you know. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, bro. Thanks for, for, you know, tuning in and, you know, taking out the time for this, you know what I mean, right now. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself, man, by your, you know what I mean? How did you actually come up with Eli, man? Is that like your real name? I see you rocking that, you know, that, oh, bro, that's bad, bro. That's Notorious yeah, yeah, B.I.G., yeah. bro, right there, yo. That, that's that uh, boy rocking that proudly. I saw you like, yo, that's, yo, that's my dog right there. <laughs> like, yo. So you all about East Coast, eh? Uh, bro, I don't even, I don't even rep East Coast, West Coast, man. I'm not even from out here like that, so I can't even. Uh, out oh, damn. I see, dude, I see, I, I see with, you. I, I mess with, I mess with all of them, bro. Real shit, I mess with all. All of right, them, okay, 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 okay. I see you rocking that Nigerian flag as well. You know what I mean? Trying to, yeah. trying to do it out, repping that. Exactly. Are you from Nigeria? Yes, sir. That's why I was born. You know, the boy was born out there. Oh, word, word. Yeah, I was, I was, oh, I was, word, I was born word. out there. I moved to London. When I was a kid. Oh, right? okay, like, okay. Legit. All right. And I, went, I was out there That's for like a year or two. And I moved out here to um to uh to Canada. So that's where I'm at right now. Oh, nice, man. You're in Calgary. You're in Canada. Which part of Canada are you in? Right now, see, I moved out. I moved out to um to Calgary, Alberta, right? Oh, wow! So beautiful place, for, man. It's a beautiful yeah, place. Wow. Yeah. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, man. I'm actually from Toronto as well, you know what I mean? I, w I used to live out there. I was from Scarborough, you know what I mean? Then moved out to Regent Park. Then moved out to, you know, West Side, Eglinton West, you know what I mean? Bringing all kinds of hood, you know what I mean? Bloods and craves, rolling with all kinds of people out there, man. But, you know what I mean? Holding it down right now in L.A., though, bro. So, so tell me this, man. Like, how is, uh, you know, your journey uh, coming on board with our, with our company and doing all of this? You know, like, I'm under the impression that you've been with the company for a few days now, right? Yeah, it's been a couple of days, you know. Y'all hustling, man, see? When I when I when I was All watching right, the okay. videos, right, I was like, "Yo, these guys hustlers, uh -huh. just like me. I need to have a oh, team, shit. you know, working at hustlers. <laughs> okay. Like my All Spotify right, okay. streams been going up in a couple of days, like crazy, and it's organic, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the side. Everything going up lately, so I'm like, I'm happier so far. So I was like, perfect, yeah, man. Perfect. A couple of days, so a lot, a lot to happen. So wow, you. So you're you're getting organic streams, uh, streams on your pro uh, playlist, uh, Spotify playlist, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's what's up. So you got anything to say? But you know, uh, uh, anything to say to all the artists that are not, you know, currently signed up to our platform or not knowing what we're all we are doing over here? Anything that you want to say to them? Yeah, I'm telling y'all that aren't taking your marketing <laughs> seriously. It's not taking your branding seriously. Yo, you got to take All that right. serious. My boys at Labello Marketing is it. These guys are These guys get you. Right? Yo. Get there you, you go. Right? There you go, bro. Uh -huh. Bro, that's that's a, that's a that's a billion dollar right there statement, bro. I must Thank say, you, bro. And yeah, man, we we we're, we're literally like growing exponentially. You know what I mean? Like obviously because of people like you. You know what I mean? Believing in us and literally like we're working with hundreds of artists. Like literally, if not thousands, I would say hundreds for sure, bro. So you could see the diversity and you could see all these different type of artists that are bringing in different type of music. Like I was talking to this person the other day, and you know what I mean? They're doing emotional sort of you know emo fever sort of music, and you know it's kind of cool to see like every artist is out there struggling and you know trying to trying to grow that big audience and that's where you know me and the boys that's what we come in and you know what i mean and we're doing big things and i'm so glad that you know you chose this and you know you also put in the the good word out there for other men and to find out yo we're doing big things boy we're doing big thing with eli man funny bass man you know what i mean yeah. straight goods man yeah, that, yeah, straight that. goods bro <laughs> So 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 tell 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 me a little bit about you know what I mean like why did you choose the name Eli Man you know what I mean like was it was it like something uh, to do with music was it something to do with in you know like I don't know everybody comes up with some kind of name right like there's a stage name of everybody right like but the real name is not the, the not the stage name right so so you gotta carry that too right so that's why I'm I'm like I'm on it to know man how does that how does that work for you right like what 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 is it all about for sure for sure. So there's a little story behind it, right? 
Oh, okay. My, All right. My last name, my last name. You know, I'm not trying to expose my government. Name. Actually, still my brand. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> still my brand. It's still my brand. You know? said, no one expose the government my in la- there. Now, I mean, next thing you know, this my is this controversial podcast. Now, I mean, next thing you know, it's going trending. You know what I mean, like yo, bro. <laughs> All yeah. right, okay, okay, I feel you, I hear you, saying, I hear you. Saying, go ahead, um, go ahead. My last name is Eliezer, right? Eliezer okay, is my, okay, my okay. last name. And um, it means God is my help. That's what it means, right? Wow, So beautiful. So that's my brand and everything, you know what I'm saying? That's my brand I'm starting out. Eliezer, that's giving me my merchandise and everything, you know, I don't give me a rocking that. Designer, right, right, straight right. designer, that's inspired by guys that, like that Gucci, you know, Louis Vuitton. Guys, like you know, mm. you know what I'm saying, big boys. Where? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I feel you. I hear you, I man. Big, saying? big top, top dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You chat about the top dogs, top yeah. runners, stunners, whatever, yeah. man. I feel you. I hear you. Top of the go game. on, go on. So it's like yeah. the re- the meaning Eli is God is right. So there's different forms oh, okay. of um, Eli. There's something like Eliezer, you know. In the Bible, you'll see a different forms of that, like Eli, and then something else. So, oh, okay. Me, I put. My music is spiritual, right? I want my music to be spiritual. I have a lot of spiritual meaning behind everything. Even sometimes someone might listen to it, they listen to like trap, and they'd be like, oh, it's like, not a trap. Nah, bro. The meaning behind it is spiritual, right? So it's like, you know, man, man is like spirit, you know? Because when God made us, we're like spirit and body, right? You know what I'm saying? So you got to take care of your spirit first, right? So Eli man means God is spirit. And it's really me out here separating myself in a point where my music is out here, you know, not trying to be out here doing demonic shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Out here, like, worldly, worldly things, yeah? Yeah, you know? Like, representing yeah, God. I feel you. God's kingdom, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, a good, good father, and everything, because I hold that real dearly to me, you know what I mean? Because I've been there when I was younger. I was raised in a Christian family and everything, right? But I didn't really take it Word. serious, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I I just always you know you only just say the grass is greener on the other side. Yep, yep. That's always how I, was I always heard me, that right? man. So I was always looking at you know, you know, a fine man like me always love the shorties. You know what I'm saying? So I love, Yo, I love the so. money, bro. I love the shorties. You know uh, what I'm saying? Love all that, <laughs> you know, all that junk. <laughs> Yo, bro, all that you know, all that junk. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but man's gotta do what a man's gotta yeah. do, right? It's like. You know what I mean? It's like it's like no no matter how hard you try to run away from it, it's still like you know catching up on you. And you're just it's like bad. I don't know, man. Should it's I? Bad. But I feel you though. Days. I feel you like yeah. how you it's yeah bad. these days, bro. And like I hear you, man. When you talk about you know demonic uh, you know music and and yeah, man, maybe you know uh, a lot of the people they might be like, hey, man, y'all niggas like soft, man. Y'all y'all a bunch of softies. But but you know what I mean? It is what it is. Eventually, a man's gotta catch up because we do come to this world as you. Know, know as as the creator makes that makes you know man possible right and like from a microscopic drop right <laughs> like you don't even know right so so that's how we come so yeah i feel you man that you know what i mean there, there's a purpose behind your music so how about you you know touch up a little bit more about that man tell us more about you know where's this all this guidance and this, this great stuff that you bring in right like i, I want to i want to like sauce it up a little bit more man tell us more about it like you know what i mean the, the, the journey i would say right like there's always a struggle so so my branding is all about my catchphrase. Okay, for example, I'm, I'm going to start with this Eli Man, right? So Eli Man is about enjoying life incredibly, mainly avoiding okay. negativity. Wow. Or you could even say oh. mainly avoiding niggas. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That's the sub. That's the sub. That's the sub. So you mean like, mainly avoiding dogs? Is it, is, it, yeah. is it mainly avoiding dogs or is it just niggas? <laughs> there's niggas. a, there's like, a know, thin line, right? You know, you, know niggas. Typical, you know the typical nigga mentality? Yeah. That shit there's there's so many know. everywhere, bro. Like, yo, I'm in LA right now, so, bro, you could imagine the mentality, right? Like, yeah, bro. It's crazy. Like, bro, it's crazy, bro. It's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy out there. Like, so that's the whole point so, of Eli, man. Okay, right? okay. Because my whole journey was about, like, that, um, like that good kid, right? So me, mm. you know, I was a good kid, right? You know, growing up, started playing ball, so I hung around a lot of niggas and shit. You know, and then it's, oh, wow. nigga just different. It's like I have a track coming out. It's like I feel like I'm in a zoo. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you really feel like you're in a jungle, <laughs> but it's not a jungle. Yeah. It's a zoo because 
of the slavery aspect of it, right? So it's wow. like, so it's I mean, like, that, that's pretty deep, man. That was deep, deep bro. Shit, that was yeah, deep. Yeah. So that it's was like, some deep, man. Eli Man is a journey coming from a sinner to a righteous person, you know? You know? Oh, okay, okay. So it's like okay. my journey, me personally, that went through that journey, I can reflect on it and I can relate with everybody to the point. I could relate with a nigga in the street, you know, trying to make that go up. I could relate to the homie trying to get that fit, you know, trying to get a, to get mm. back in shorty, you know. Mm. I can relate to I a hear nigga you. trying to get that chain, bro. Because I remember I was like, yo, I need to get a chain. I was watching music videos. I need my chain, bro. Hustling for a chain, mm. you know what I'm saying? I could relate to a nigga in the, in the trap, bro, staying there for two, three months, getting his guap up. You know what I'm saying? I could relate to him. Word. Him, so I can speak to him man that has been through that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, so me and the, cause me, I'm not even a perfect guy. Man. I'm not a perfect yeah. guy, right? So a lot of people yeah. look at me and they be like, "Yo, this guy, he walked the talk. He perfect. You know, he's on them. You know, <laughs> basically like." But they don't know, right? They don't know, you know? They don't know what the what the real you know feel yeah. was to to like, become I'm a real Eli guy. man. One hundred, one hundred, right? So it's like I'm, a, I'm not even up. perfect, but you know, God calls us to be perfect because He's a holy God, right? So He doesn't have no room for sin and all that. So from person that no you know, way. we all struggle with that, right? To the point that's like, that's the journey aspect of it. Coming from a sinner, right? So a lot of my music out right now kind of relates to it. You know, it's like no relates way. to that part of it. That's the part of my right now. You know, relates to a lot of sinners okay. and stuff, right? So it's like, people be probably like, yo, I like this guy, you know? But it's a whole journey part of it coming to the point where it's like, yo, you know, understanding. Because it all comes from understanding, right? You know what I'm saying? Understanding. Word what you're doing and where you're going. So from sinner to righteous is just about the whole journey, right? So everyone wants to hop along on that journey and take their life seriously, take their soul seriously, right. you know what I'm saying? There's right. a lot of shit out here niggas talking about, yo, niggas, the clout, the biggest clout you can have right now is if a nigga calls you a demon, you know? You got a nigga demon, you know? Everyone's like, oh <laughs> shit, that nigga demon, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so... I I feel you. I all of a sudden like I feel like yeah. oh, there's so many questions that I got for you, right? Like, bro. Like, okay. honestly though, I feel you, man. I feel you. I feel you on this. You know what I mean? But uh, what what do you gotta say about some of these cats out there? Like, let's not take names, right? Like, but you definitely know what recently just happened at the concert, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? So so what do you think about it? Like, what what do you ha- what what's your take on it, right? Because you're you're bringing this very deep deep uh, state of mind where I actually feel that you probably definitely actually not probably definitely you did a lot of soul searching you know what I mean you definitely did because the, the things that you're saying right that's not a normal layman terms right like you know yeah. something which a lot of people I feel like you know something which other people don't know yet right because you experienced it you you learned it you you manifest over it you materialize your 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 existence around it right so so i feel like you know you did a lot of soul searching but no, 100, 100. but at the same time at the same time that's why i was just wondering like what do you think uh, you know went down and you know what do you think uh, i'm pretty sure you know about <laughs> what went down and how it yeah, went down right so you thought you it's crazy okay man. okay i mean it's do you like, think you think you should have stopped the music I personally think that it's like, I don't think he should stop the music. Here's why. It's you don't because, think he should have stopped the music? Okay. It's because okay. it's like, right. there's different, everyone has a job at a concert, right? Yeah. See what I'm saying? I feel you. That's a very so technical like, aspect of looking at it. Everyone yeah. has a job. His job is to entertain, right? So him, as an artist, see people, is the, the way I'm looking at it, I'm an artist. I have a job to entertain, mm. right? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you're an entertainer. Basically, I'm you're you're. Entertainer. There is a reason why you're put on the spot because you know you're an entertainer, right? Everybody yeah. believes in you. I feel you. I feel you. Where you coming from? 100%. So go on, go on, go so on. What are you saying? People are saying all that. You know, he should start the music. He should done. No, these are people that are spectators. These are the people consuming. Spectators. Right? Yeah. Definitely. So obviously, they yeah. have a different mindset. That oh yeah, he should no the security. There should be um on board like um paramedics there should be police you understand what i'm saying they all have a yeah, job to do right. at every concert there are those people so they did yeah, show up that, they did show up you understand they did show up so he's doing his job they got their job to do and also as an audience you also have a job to do you all have a job yeah to do that's 
to make sure everyone's wow. safe, keeping each other safe. Beautiful. So someone dies Beautiful. beside you, that's more on you than not Travis Scott, bro. Oh so I'm my at God. Concert, I see yo. a nigga puking, bro. <laughs> and then he pops some pill. I see him start puking at me. I'm just turning up still. Bro, what? There was something beside that, Holmes, bro. You, but, you but, take bro, care but like, call somebody. I know, know I've. Saying? I know, man. I know. I feel you, bro. But I'm one of those very hardcore antics, right? Like I've been, you know, um, you know, messing with this music, you know, industry. I would say for like almost 22, 25 years. I mean, I remember when being a little youth and changing cassettes and changing vinyls, right? Like my grandmother, rest in peace. Yeah, she also there, passed away in there. Cali. So, so like you know that I come from that time and era where mobile phones didn't exist, where where a lot of these people that are yeah. into now, a lot of these technologies, gimmicks and elements. There, bro, these things never exist. Existed, right so so for me coming from that aspect and now looking at what is for for everybody to look at but uh, you know I, I actually did end up watching another video where where mr. Scott was uh, you know I'm trying to cuss off another man right for because of his shoes he thought somebody was gonna steal his shoes bro did you see that video did you see that one? that was that was totally different that was totally different than this concert right so all of a sudden people that have been moving a long time and people that have been looking at what is going on in the industry all of a sudden you can't say much to them because you know what i mean they will bring that essence and they will bring that information right into your face and be like you know what this same guy who was also on the main stage in front of the concert was also doing this Right, like I'm pardon, pardon me, Mr. Scott, if I'm saying something you know true over here, because there's a lot of other people that you will probably just go and Google it yourself, right? Like, hey, whoever is watching this podcast, go do your research, right? Find out, right? Because because certain things that we are looking at on the television are not actually the way they are going down in real life. Yeah, you know what I mean. So this is like, so like, yeah, you know, I feel you that security should have done his job. You know, they were doing the job. But the main thing that you pointed out was like beautiful, right? Like if you're at a concert and you see somebody puking next to you, like you will own that to you, right? But maybe that's probably because you're from Canada, right? <laughs> like can, 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 Canucks nice are like, here, right? can, you know, they're really nice out there, bro. Canucks yeah. are like, come on, kidding me, bro. I lived over there for nine years, man. You got people, bro, they're really nice people, right? Yeah. We really care for people. Like, look at Drake, right? You know, made it big, but he's still doing a lot for the community. Like, you know what I mean? Doing a lot for the people that, that, that literally went up there with him. But but yeah, man, on some realness, you know, I mean, uh, what about your music? I mean, you, you, we're done talking about, you know, a lot of this other crap, you would say, you know, what I mean, like demonic uh, music and, you know, the industry and all of this stuff. So other than that, what about you, man? Tell me more about your music. What's one of your favorite tracks? You know, what I mean, what was one of your, you know, uh, real life changing tracks, if you have any of those or, you know, tell me something like that. You know what I mean? We want to know the inner core of Eli, Eli Mayan, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. We want to know, like... Yeah, so, um, it's not on my, it's not on my, uh, Spotify right now. I dropped it on SoundCloud. Oh, I okay. I recorded it okay, okay. back in, like, 2019, right? Probably oh, wow, late 2018 okay. or 2019. About two, three saying? years ago, okay. Yeah, okay. but, okay. you know, I'm still, I'm touching it up, gonna touch it up, make it better and everything. But the whole concept right. of okay. it is, uh, it's just me kind of showing people that, yo, because as a kid... Loki, when I was a kid in school, people used to like look at me as like that funny guy, like he, you know, he's a funny guy, but I was serious too. So when I would be serious, some people right. think I'm, I'm being funny. And I'd be like, Catching a like, feeling, like, right? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Like, I feel you. Funny, <laughs> right? So I got okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For so, real, like, though, bro. Me, like, it's so called sweet. No Games, right? No Games is the tr name of the track. Showing people that, yo, Eli, man. You don't play no games, right? What I say is what I say. I'm about what I say. If it comes out of my mouth, bro, you know, you can't take words back. Words are so powerful, right? Word. You know, life yeah, and proper. death in the, is in the tongue, right? So it's like... That's true, man. Words can kill you, right? Words like, words can, can literally kill you. That's yeah. why you're... That's why lyrics, I, I believe, it's a lot of responsibility on the artist's shoulder because, you know, when you're creating music and you, if you have ambition or passion to actually go out there and impress the mass audience, right? So all of a sudden, your music is, you know what I mean, like going to be judged for what you're presenting, right? And then, you know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's really, really important. I feel like it's like a responsibility for every artist to, to do what is supposed to be done, right? Instead of, you know what I mean? Yeah doing the doing the doing the other side right like there's all kinds of people doing all kinds of things but it's very important to kind of like you know 
keep a balance and you know what I mean keep going in the right direction. So so tell me a little bit, man. Like your your SoundCloud, you said your SoundCloud track that took off. Uh, you know, were you were you also doing stuff on SoundCloud before you got with the uh, Labala Marketing? Yeah, so mostly like okay, so my journey started like when I was younger, right? I used to watch music videos, and my mind, what I said to myself was like, yo, I wanna I wanna be the person doing everything. I want to be able to, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying, make the beat. I want to be able to mix it. I want to be able to shoot the video. I want to be in the video. I want to be, you know what I'm okay. saying? That's what I'm going to be because it's like I want to be the head. I'm the head, right? I'm not just the person making uh, the beat. I'm not, no, no, no. So I li- I first started like, okay, first I'm going to start making beats, right? So I first started, you know, I downloaded FL Studio, right? Grade like nine or something. Oh, okay. So like, oh, know, wow. I started making beats and stuff. And then I met some artists, you know, in my city. met some artists I've worked with. You know, so I make beats with these guys, and it got to the point where it's like, bro, I feel like my confidence is up. People got to know, I bet. You know, so I, I used to play saxophone, right? Yeah, I still do. I still do. I got it. Wow. I got it in the background. That's right? amazing. Um, oh, okay, okay. But, uh, you know, I play saxophone, so one of my tracks on my on my uh, Spotify is called Grace, right? So Grace, Grace just, okay. you'll see on the, on the album, it's by the grace of God, we shall succeed. And that's kind of me wow. being a humble guy, knowing that, yo, because some people are like, what, it, what does it take for an artist to make it, right? And man like Zaytoven talked about that in one of his interviews. It stuck with me. He said, I'm not the best producer. He said, you know, me, I'm not the best. I know that. I'm not the best producer. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't depend on money. He doesn't depend on clout. Mm. He doesn't depend on how people look at him and all that. Even though there's some stuff Loki has a part to do with it because in the world we live in, those stuff are taken important, right? But Definitely, like, yo, it's the grace of God that is the reason he's here today, and that's and that and that wow. hit me because it's like I was at that point where I'm like, yo, I gotta get my money up, which is important. You gotta get your money up, nothing free. I was like, yo, I gotta get my cloud up. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. And then I was just at that point where it's like, yo, he said that, and that hit me. That's one of the biggest producers in the game, and I'm like, yeah, yeah my favorite producer to be honest, they told me, and I'm like. Really, yeah. eh? Wow. Yeah, for real, for real. I'm like, yo, that that's hit me. Sad, that's like, sad. It's the grace of God, man. You just got to seek God, you know? Even Young Thug said it in one of his tracks. One right. of these pink up and this drop. One line that stuck out to me was like, I'm seeking God these days because something's missing, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, was, that hit me because it's like, that's facts. Because without God, man, yeah. we, we ain't, nothing can happen, right? Can't make it, yeah, we can't, can't make nothing happen, bro. Like, right. you can, you cannot even breathe, bro. Like, you yeah. know, my them, my them cannot even, like, put both uh, both of their feet in the air, right? Mm-hmm. You can't. <laughs> it's just like, you know what I mean? There's certain, certain things, right, that you can't do, right? Wow. So, 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 we're back over here, you know what I mean? Homeboys rocking the, you know, that trip mode, you know what I mean? On that Chanel, you know what I mean? I see that. I try to see that it's Chanel, you know what I mean? That's that's my job, yo. Yo, bro, I see that, bro. My name, my my rocket, you know what I mean? My name, my street, but my rust, that rocket, that bro. So, yo, bro. So back on this man, like you know, it was it was really nice, you know what I mean? Getting to know what Eli Man is all about, especially now that the flavor is all kicking, you know what I mean? It's like a video shoot going on. I feel like, you know what I mean? I feel like, yo, I'm talking to someone in Nigeria right now, bro. Are you sure you're not from Canada, bro? <laughs> it's like, yo, yeah, bro. So, so. So yo, so listen to me, man. So t- tell me this, bro. Like, how was it? Uh, how was the you know uh, the views coming along? Like for your track, like when you started doing you know tracks with the uh, you know on our platform, right? Like when we started doing things for you. Like how does that converge to you? And how does that feel like? And what is going on actually? You know what I mean? And what do you have to say about to the people that are you know getting scammed by like people out there? Ah, see. All I gotta say ah, is like, see it. <laughs> you like that one. Oh, you like that one. Ah, oh, see it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All I gotta say is, uh, all I gotta say is, man, my my guys, bro, my dogs are Labala Marketing, bro. This is no cap, bro. Boo! Boo, 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 boo. Straight. A couple yeah. weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? Respect. I was at like 200, Respect. 200 a couple weeks ago. Right. Okay. And I was just okay. doing my All right. thing here and there. Right. Mm. And I'm like, yo, I, I can't be, I can't be laboring in vain. You know, I said I can't. Ooh, ooh, what? You want, you, you wanted to be an artist. <laughs> ooh, it's a ten. It's almost at ten k. The last time I checked. 
Ooh, boy. Oh, you know boy. Oh, boy. Street you're going to you're gonna be the top dog pretty soon, bro. Exactly, bro. I'm telling you, I'm coming. I don't compare <laughs> myself to these guys out here, bro. No cap, Ooh. no dip. Y'all, I'm coming for the throne, bro. You know, I told Drake, I'm coming for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, bro. bro. I'm coming for you, Craig. I'm coming for y'all. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't playing a few. Come here. X. To XXX Tentacion, 21 Savage. I, I feel like bro. you're going after all of these niggas, bro. Bro, I'm coming for you, Jay Z. Bro, what are you talking Woo! about? Dude, bro, bro, bro. You, bro. Yo, I used so, to listen to y'all. Oh, y'all used to so, back in the day, I swear, bro. I swear, I swear. I feel you, man. These are the people that actually took the music industry to what it is now, right? But now it's just like, bro, it's like, I feel like, I feel like hip hop is dead, right? There's like a lot of these people people that feel like trap music is hip-hop bro trap music can never be hip-hop right like there's a reason why hip-hop was hip-hop right and now you got like all these different people doing all these different casts doing all the different flavors you know what i mean and they're like yo this is what hip-hop is right <laughs> like bro yeah i don't right. know about that what do you what do you what do you say about that man what do you what do you feel about you know what i mean how how it was and you know what i mean I, I i hear you calling off shots man i hear you you know, calling shots to a lot of these people out there, bro. You know what I mean? I won't be surprised if this podcast is, like, trending, bro. Because, you know what I mean? People want to know what, you know what I mean? What Eli Mann is, you know what I mean? And sh- you know what I mean? Like, you never know, right? You never yeah. know. But, bro, you call enough shots, man. So, you know what I mean? People will. People. Come on, G. Yo, this no, nigga. Talking about hip-hop, Yo. right? Talking Ooh, about hip-hop, right? Bro. The thing Ooh, that's is, some fucking... hip-hop ain't ever gonna be the same unless you have mans uh, like me coming out. Because me, Ooh, I understand failure. I understand the roots of everything, right? Everything Damn, has son. roots and everything. You know what I'm saying? The tree always got roots, but sometimes when you grow a For tree, real. you gotta snip some branches off of that tree, right? Ooh, deep, you know bro. You, you, you deep on that soul search and fire that, bro. Big yeah, fire that you bring, God, bro. bro. <laughs> one thing I gotta oh, say, wow. everybody gotta take their spiritual life seriously. And one thing I'll say that's like, gonna piss a lot of people off is um, the universe don't give you nothing, bro. I'm telling you, it's mm. God that gives you everything. All that manifestation wow. stuff, it low-key works only because you are aligning yourself with the principles that God put in place. But you gotta understand the creator, bro. You got to understand the creator that created the universe is one that we got to connect to and we got to pray to, not the universe. The universe don't do nothing for y'all. Because the universe, it's gas and the stars and all that, you know, it's God's creation. You got to give glory to God, 100%. Through Jesus Christ, man. man. I'm not even out here to preach, but I just got to say that one thing, bro. Because a lot of people, it's like Satan out here is to deceive. That's his job is to deceive people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So whatever form it might come in, it's like, yo, he's out here to de- take y'all distraction away from God. That's the first thing you learn in school. Hey, no religion, no talk about God. In the media, don't talk about God. Look at Stephen Curry, man. He had his whole, uh, he had, I can do all things thing. He wanted to do, I, I can do all things through Christ. Because that's the original verse, right? They're like, yo, you can't put that mm. Christ in it. You just got to put, I, I can do all things. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's their job is to, you know, to take God out of the picture. And give the glory to yeah, ourselves. Yeah, I feel you, man. That's what I, Satan some is deep. all about with that pride and shit. You know, pride is a big thing that people talk in the black community. It's a big thing, right? People talk, you know, these Muslims mm. talk. You gotta have pride and all that. And if you read the Quran, bro, you read the Bible. The first thing you will know, God hates the proud. You understand? Whoa! If you whoa. say you, if you're religious, that's, just, and you that's do what's religion, up, man. That was deep, bro. That seems you know like seems like you got a lot of information on your hand, man. You're like. You're like uh-huh. Mr. Know It All. You know what I mean? Like, bro, <laughs> like, bro like, am I bad for sounding cheesy, bro? But it is what it is, right? Like, I talk to people, man, but I'm talking to you, bro. I feel like, bro, there's some deep soul right here. You know what I mean? There's yeah, like some God. some deep yeah. mes- mesmerizing, you know, things that I'm finding out from this artist, bro. And mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? I'm I'm really going to go out there and, you know what I mean, tell people about this one, too, because, yo, this this is some realness, Respect, you know what I mean, that, that we're doing right here. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, sure. the, the real... Know, yeah, everybody make sure, bro. Like, know about Eli Man, bro. You know, what I'm saying? that's because, what's up, man. Spread you know the word. You know what I mean? Yeah, I really, man, I really man. had to, you know. And one of my traps hasn't dropped, but I said a line. It's uh-huh. like I gotta switch up my vision and the things I was chasing. Oh, okay. You okay. know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like. So that 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 new track that you're about to drop, right? You were telling me about that. What is it called? 
My bad. I don't know if you want to announce it yet. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Big Dog. I, Mr. I, I Big Dog right, right here. Recently, recently, <laughs> frequently, right? Oh, okay. Me, so okay, I don't really okay. be putting All out right. what's the new track going to wow. be about. People just got to stay tuned oh, okay, to the Elon okay. Man show, right? So you know I have a that's track dropping every week. Every week I got a track dropping, right? So wow, it's like, that's hot. I don't, I don't be hot. saying my next that's mood. Fun. You just got to be stay tuned. And a lot of my Ooh. tracks are real short. So, you know, I try to keep them like two to three minutes. Three minutes are the most. Boom, oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. That's proper, man. That's proper. None of that six, seven minute long things, you know what I mean? Quick, soft, and mm. sweet, and you know, you're just in there and you're just out, done with it. You know what I mean, I like that idea. You know what I mean? A lot of the people, they, they started doing these two to three minute songs, you know what I mean? So, bro, like, are you serious, bro? You're really going after Drake as well? Because, yo, that's, that's my hobby, bro. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm digging that guy's music, bro, for time, bro. Mm. What's wrong with you, bro? Like, why would you feel like that? Why would you want to go after Drake? Like, what did he do to you, man? Bro, Drake I mean, is like, my whoa, boy, whoa. It's, it's Listen, pretend like there's a lot of people other than me standing behind me wanting to ask you the same thing, right? Like, bro, Listen, what's good, bro? What's good, Gucci, bro? I want that, bro. Because as an artist, oh, you <laughs> right? he's my competition. Okay. So obviously, uh-huh. I'm not going to be out here talking, bigging him up when uh-huh. I'm not even bigging myself up. Okay. You understand? Okay. So okay. it's like, okay. Okay. at the end of the day, it's like, I used to listen to Drake, right? And every time I listen mm. to Drake... Which I one? Which one? You know about Lil CC? You know, you, know that, you know that babe, Lil CC? She's blowing up the spot, man. You know about her? Who? Bro, Lil that CC? producer chick, Lil yeah, CC? Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. Drake's... Doing the shout out for her, bro, on her tracks, right? Like, bro, she's she's literally, like, in my in my uh, perspective, like, in my impression, right? Like, bro, I feel like yo, her music is fire, bro. One of the yeah. best producers, yo. Seriously though, and even Drake's putting out a shot for her, right? And like yeah, now, yeah, bro, everybody want to work with Lil Cece, right? Yeah. So you have to respect the fact that Drake is not just doing it for him, right? And whoever bro, he yeah, works bro, with, bro, I mean, look, I look, that, at Nav, look, look at Nav, look at look at look at all these different love, artists bro. that he brought in. This is coming from a point of like me, I know myself, right? It's oh, all okay, love. Okay, like okay, I said, okay. I used to listen to Drake a lot. I used to, bro, when I first started listening to Drake, so far gone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what time, bro? I can name every Drake album right now, but I'm not even gonna do that. You know <laughs> but okay, then, okay, okay, okay. Uh, zero to hundred. Real quick, yo, come on, man. I like, I love some of the music that he's dropping, bro. I'm just catching a feeling, bro. My niggas don't like Drake, bro. Oh my god, bro. I mean, like, you know, what I mean, it's cool, bro. It's cool. One day, one day, you know, what I mean, one day you'll come around that one too, right? <laughs> no, that's, Drake. Drake inspired me, man. I've tell, even his production. Oh, like, there you go. Forty, bro. That's one of my go. favorite producers. Forty. Yeah, yeah for real. But you know, I gotta be honest, right? I gotta say that me and my career, I'm not trying to be. I want I want a bigger career than he had, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, big so things, I'm, big things. Yeah, that's look at him. That's with the Jackson, planning, bro. right? That's part of See, planning. People are saying, "Yo, Drake can't do what Michael Jackson did." You no, know, Drake can't. Mm. He's, he, his numbers are there to prove that. Yo, this guy give him respects, give him the respects. You know, I feel like Drake mm. can be bigger than MJ, because even mm. Tupac said one thing, bro. Tupac said, "See, I'm not the change, but I'm gonna spark the change." change, bro. I love that track. Changes, yeah. all I see is no changes. I mean, it's really good, bro. Rest in peace, yo. That's one of my main dogs right there, bro. Tupac uh-huh. Shakur, you know what I mean? One hundred. But and yeah, man, is, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. One, the thing is, bro. In this game, bro. In this music, bro. It's a relay race, right? So you gotta understand mm. that, yo. I'm doing my thing. I run my hundred meters. I run my five. You know what I'm saying? And then I pass it off. To the next person coming, you know what I'm saying? So that's 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 how it is, you know. So it's like Where? the person coming after you got to be harder than the person that was in before. The generation mm. coming after got to be better than because you watch them, you learn from them, you listen to them, you know. So you have to be greater than what came before. You know, beautiful what I'm saying? man, well put, man, well and put. And if you bro. look that's at really them, smart. Yo, these guys are what on taught me, and I didn't like teach myself or whatever. Bro, if you look at them as your master, that's why you failed. Because in the Bible, it even says a disciple can't be greater than his master. You understand? Word. So it's that's like that's very true, man. Very you true. You can't bro. be greater than the person that taught you. You can observe. Yeah. You can learn from somebody, and you can be greater than them. Mm. But if you look at them, like that's why I don't look at nobody. Like yo, this guy, you know, he he's my he's I want it nah, but I don't want to be like nobody. This mm. guy's just like I feel yo, you. I'm, I'm gonna be bigger than these guys because I have to be. You have to be. Even yeah, the people coming after you. It's, 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 it's the drive, right? You, right? 
It's the same type of thing. Right. You want yeah. your son to it's be It's the energy. Than you. It's you don't want your son to be less yeah. or even equal. You want him to be better than you. So it's like Word. That's how it that's is. That's why I look at I don't I don't ever compare myself to these guys that like my mates. I would look and say, Yo, mm. how are we gonna one him up? Even my own self. Yo, I drops drop the trap, that trap gotta be better. This bar gotta be better than the last bar. This verse gotta be better than the last verse. You understand? This album, I gotta keep. That's basically it. perfectionism. You know, what I mean, like I could, yeah. I could just feel like you know, you, you like, you like, you like that guy. Yo, I want everything hundred. You know, what I mean, I want, mm-hmm. I want to be on top of the thing, right? You know, yeah. you know what I mean, I want to be on top of the chart. You know, what I mean, yeah. and that's probably why, yo, bro, you working with the best right now, bro. We're, we're literally like. I'm sure, bro, like, you know what I mean? You, you know, we, we're not just me coming over here and, you know, coming to work and talking, you know, chatting beer shit with you. <laughs> I mean, like, I got man them right there, you know, doing the job, you know, doing actually the things that we are supposed to do for you guys. You know what I mean, and it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful to talk to artists and, you know, and, and find out that the energy that we're bringing on board and the energy that we're bringing in the future for y'all people, right? In case y'all people not tuned into this podcast, in case y'all people do not know about Eli Man, y'all people do not know about Lee Bottle Marketing, bro. Y'all niggas sleeping. Y'all Sleep. people sleeping. <laughs> you know I mean? Keep I sleeping. I mean Keep napping. You know, I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I hope that, I don't know, comfortable or not comfortable. They, they're going to find out later on, right? They're going to find yeah. out later on whether it was what, what zone, why they, why they were sleeping, right? Yo, bro, straight goods, man. Mad respect to you, you know what I mean? You coming out here, taking out the time, you know what I mean? Alberta, Canada, yo, straight up, man. Albuquerque, you know what I mean? I was over there as well with my people, okay. you know what I mean? Some of my people still over there in Vancouver, you know what I mean? Nav, you know what I mean? Some of these Daisy guys, AP Dylan, you know what I mean? A lot of this great music, you know, Brown Monday, I don't know about this track, man. A lot of this Canada people, man, they were bringing great, great, great music, you know what I mean? I mean, and uh, it feels good to be talking to somebody from, uh, you know, from Calgary. Uh, you said Calgary, right? Mm, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. So, out there, so, you know, so like how's it, how's it like there, though? How's it like there in Calgary right now? Like, I was in Calgary about 15 years ago. How, do, how is it going like, okay, like okay. right now? Like the- Yo, it's actually, it's, you know, it's a growing city, right? Because even when I was out there, uh, I was out there. It's a metropolitan doing, uh, city, uh, yeah. They were doing a lot of, um, what's it called, uh, construction, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So it's a grown city. It's a very okay. nice city. Okay. Anyone that's like, yo, I want to have a nice city to go to, I mean, to live in. You know what I'm saying? That's not too expensive, like a mm. Toronto or BC type thing. Bro, go yeah. to Calgary, bro. It's a very nice city, wow. man. Very beautiful city. Open. Everything. You'll love it out there. Go to Calgary, bro. Because it's not expensive. That's what's up, man. And you get the vibe, you know? So it's like. Perfect. Perfect. Calgary is it, All right, Perfect. Saying, Definitely, definitely, man. Definitely, bro. And uh, mad respect once again. You know what I mean? I keep saying it because I feel like I'm talking to like this, you know, upcoming artist who's probably going to be everywhere, right? So, you know, if that happens, bro, just don't forget, man. I was the nigga that was bigging you up, man. Started from right here, right? Started from the started from the bottom. Now we here, right? Come on now. Come on now. Yo, bro. Yo, my nigga. Yo, bro. Mad respect, man. Mad respect. You know what I mean? You hold it down. You know what I mean? It was nice talking to you. Anything else you want to say to your fans before we, you know, we we jump off this call, man? Man, I just want to say I appreciate everybody out here. You know, I love everybody out here supporting. Everybody here jumping in the Eli Man movement. I'm telling y'all, man, you got to jump in the movement. Bro, if you want to change yes, your really life, is. you want entertainment, you want to enjoy your life out here, bro, that's what we're all about. That's what we're all about, baby. You know, we ain't going to talk Woo! about Let's know? go get it. Shit, that's what's bro. up. We fire, fire, life fire. Full of you only got one life, bro. We're going to live it up, man. Straight good, straight good, man. Straight. You know, straight goes, man. Straight straight goes, man. Straight goes, man. Glory to God, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we thank Jesus for dying on the cross for our sins because we all would be hell if we didn't, bro. So. Yeah, straight good, man. Straight bro. good, man. Appreciate love love the bro. message, you know man. Love the, Yeah, here. you know what I mean? You too, uh-huh. man. I got to go get, catch another guy. You know what I mean? Got to do some more, you know, all of this stuff. <laughs> so you, you take care of yourself, man. It was nice having you over. You know what I mean? Hold it down, yo. Hold the fort down, yo. Peace out. A-Town.